In this video, I would like to show you how to use triple exponential smoothing to generate forecasts for seasonal data series. So uh, if you open the Excel file and click on the seasonality tab, you will see a seasonal time series. So um, as you can see, the uh, time series goes up, comes down again, up, down again. So what we have here is we have level, we have trend, and on top of all of that, we have seasonality. Okay, so we're going to use triple exponential smoothing to generate forecasts for this time series. So I click on this uh, graph and um, I just uh, pull it aside. Um, so um, we're going to generate a forecast F sub T. And then uh, we're going to have a level L sub T. We're going to have a trend T sub T. Uh, as an intermediate calculation, it's, uh, it's good to have L sub T plus T sub T. And then we're going to have a seasonality factor D sub T divided by T, uh, I'm sorry, L sub T. And then we have individual seasonality factors. And uh, before we begin, we need to specify alpha, beta, and gamma also. So um, as, uh, you know, simple values, I'm just going to set them all equal to 0.5. Then, um, so, um, yeah, then we need to look at seasons. Because in triple exponential smoothing, we cannot start in season one. We will use season one to find some of the initial values and then we're going to start forecasting from season two okay so um so let me just copy this uh here uh, okay so here i have the periods but now i need to know how long a season is so for that i look back at the time series so uh, how long is a season? A season is, in this case, four periods long. So how do I know that? So I count one, two, three, four, first season. And then I come down and I start the second season. One, two, three, four. I come down again, one, two, three, four. So every fourth season, I have a peak, okay? So, uh, visually, I can already see I have seasons which are all four periods long. Okay? So, then, I need to have the starting values for L sub T and T sub T. Okay, this is uh, going to be, uh, let's say, uh, this is going to be uh, for the end of season one which is period four just off the top of my head i'm just gonna say 40 and then uh, for trend i'm gonna say two okay just off the top of my head now if these turn out to be bad initial values i can always change them okay so 40 and two you can you can pick other numbers and then I need, oh, uh, so then I can immediately calculate uh, L sub T plus T sub T, okay? And then I need seasonality factors for each of the four periods, okay? So to calculate them, what I do is I um, uh, press equal, demand of the first season, divided by the average demand, okay, average across the first season, across the first four periods, okay, so this is uh, F, uh, so uh, F2 
through F5, the first four seasons, and um, to uh, uh, set them uh, to make sure that they don't move, I press F4, so I get the dollar signs, press OK. Right? So, and then I click lower right hand corner and drag, and these are the first four seasonality factors that is seasonality factors for the first season uh, I select them um, and then I just format them to have two decimal places okay now uh, to check whether you have done this correctly or not they have to add up to four okay so I selected them sum equals four so I've done this correctly so now how are we going to proceed first uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find the first forecast for the first period of season two so this is this is season two five six seven eight the second four periods okay so um, this equals uh, LT plus uh, T sub T times the corresponding seasonality factor. Since this is the first period of second season, we need to go back to the first period of the first season. And then I click OK. I click Enter. Okay. So this is our first forecast. Okay. So then what we do is we update the level we update the trend and then we calculate this and then we update the seasonality factors okay so how are we going to update the uh, level we're going to use the formula okay uh, to update the um, level I say uh, equals alpha times actual demand okay divided by the seasonality factor plus 1 minus alpha divided uh, times okay lt plus tt and i click ok and then um, i'm going to copy this formula but i want the uh, uh, alpha to stay the same okay all right and then I want to format this uh, say zero decimal places so maybe I want this as an as an integer now let's update uh, the trend to update trend I click here uh, see equals um the beta times the change in level so uh, this minus that change in level plus um, one minus beta close parenthesis times okay um, LT plus TT okay, equals again um, I format this as an integer with no decimal places and since I'm going to copy this down uh, I put dollar signs before P and 2 okay so um, So now um, I can already see I've made a mistake. Okay, um, the mistake I made was to use this instead of t sub t. So it should be here. Okay, click enter. Now it's more reasonable. So trend went from uh, three, uh, two to three. 
So now um, uh, I can copy this. Okay. Uh, again, I want uh, decimal, uh, no decimals. Okay. Now um, we need to update the seasonality factor. For that, I take d sub t divide divided by uh, l sub t. Okay. So it is equal actual demand divided by the level okay and I want this with uh, two decimal places okay and then I update the uh, seasonality factor for the first period of the second season to update the seasonality factor uh, I press equals uh, I use gamma times uh, the cell plus one minus gamma, okay, close parenthesis, times the same seasonality factor in the previous season, okay. So since I'm going to copy this below, I want the uh, cell that represents gamma to stay the same okay so now I have everything that I need and I can simply uh, drag and copy this okay so let me uh, format this uh, number two decimals okay so now I have my forecasts okay uh, let's uh, add the forecasts uh, to the um, to this graph. So I right click, okay. Uh, I say select data. Now we're going to add a uh, time series, okay. So uh, the series name will be F sub t. The x values will be here okay and the uh, y values will be these okay so and I click OK okay so as you can see this is uh, the uh, orange line is our triple exponential smoothing uh,